Hello everyone, how are you all doing? My name's Victoria. I'm back with another tarot card reading for you all today. Today's tarot card reading is going to be called Will You Ever Meet Your Person Again? Or Will You Ever See or Meet Your Person Again? in person or again okay so this reading could be a no contact reading this could be a long distance love reading i don't know what's coming out of the reading today but this is the title and the intention of today's reading is will you ever meet your person basically okay today we have the three tarot decks we have the tarot familiars the classic raider weight and the tattoo tarot so reading one two and three what I ask you to do is choose from, from your intuition. If you have a picture of your person around handy, that's great. If you don't, just close your eyes and um, see them, surround them in some light, and then choose the pile of cards that you would like for today's reading um, from your intuition. Please remember that all tarot card readings are on my channels are general, okay? So I try to pick up as much information as I can, but not everything I say is going to resonate with each and every single one of the situations, okay? So let's get on with your readings for today. So what I'd like you to do now is choose between reading one, reading two, or reading three, okay? And I will give you a few quiet moments to do that now. Okay, I'll take reading three and put it to the side. One second, <laughs> all the decks will fall off my desk. And I'm reading two and put that to the side also. Okay, let's go on with your reading. Those of you who chose reading number one, let's clear some energy here as well. Will you ever meet or see your person? If you've met them already, um, let's see if you're going to meet them again. Okay, I don't know what's coming out of the readings today. So let's have a look at what the universe, Tara, want you to know right now. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Six of Cups in reverse. We have the Devil card. And we have the Strength card here. Okay. Right. We may need another card, actually. Oh, we'll get one more here. We have the Hierophant in the reverse. Okay. Right. So. I kind of feel like with this reading, with the three, we'll open the reading with the three of pentacles that always quite often talks about travel, okay? But it, it also talks about your person sort of, I kind of feel like they, it's almost like they're gathering people. <laughs> That's, this is what I'm feeling intuitively. I feel like they're gathering people on their side. They might be, I just feel like they're calling people in. This is more, I can see people standing there, you see. Okay, they may be, um, I feel like you will meet your person again, by the way. Um, but I feel like you can't too, you can't expect too much from them. OK, I'm saying that here because we have the six of cups in reverse situation, which is somebody that I'm feeling you might um, might be a little bit oh, unrealistic about the connection at this present time. I'm not saying that to hurt you or anything, but I'm kind of feeling here that you might you might be on two different planes. Your person might want one thing and you might want the other. Um, the devil has come out here and we've got this smack in the middle. That's why I said I wanted another card. Just see what it would do with the Hierophant in reverse. OK, I kind of feel like your person doesn't like being told what to do. OK, the devil in the middle is kind of telling me here that this might be a little bit of obsessional behavior going on. It's also a card of sexual lust. OK, so your person and be aware of this might be. um because I said you, I feel like you're on two different levels. I don't see a romantic thing going on here at this time. 
and I bet I bet you're all going, oh no. But I kind of feel like that it's um there's a lot of sexual tension, a lot of sexual energy here. A little bit of sexual being sexually obsessed. And I'm also sensing that your person doesn't want to be pushed into anything or pushed into any decisions at this time. I'm kind of feeling like you need to sort of look after yourself in this with that strength card. The strength card is often about a card of self-love, but it is also about a card of being having respect for yourself as well, having self-respect. So it's like if this person, I kind of feel like this person might be sort of sexually charged towards you. There you go, I said it. And it might, I'm just a little aware here that that's what's on their mind at the minute. I'm not saying it completely is because it might be other things, but this is what the energy is to me. OK, but I'm kind of feeling like you might not want that from that. You might not want you might want more than just that sexual um, from your person. But it's on their mind. This is what I can kind of feel. It doesn't mean the relationship, the connection that you have is not going to turn into something else or whether the energies I'm picking up is of like sexual uh, frustration or tension from this this person at this time but i'm kind of feeling like they're thinking of themselves quite a bit and what they want um and i'm, I'm getting the feeling that they're not looking outwards very much okay but the three of pentacles was the opening to your reading so um it's like they're not forgotten about you they're still in your energies they still are thinking of you because the three of pentacles is all about collaboration but it kind of sometimes feels like they're kind of turning to you to sort things out or it's it's they might be throwing things back on you quite a bit as well um hmm. they don't like being told what to do with that hierophant in reverse though it's like don't push me don't tell me what to do um they may have problems with that they may they might have with the Hierophant in reverse, it's often when something can, you know, somebody has problems with somebody actually, whoever it is, telling them exactly what to do. So, um, I do feel like with your person is quite a unique person and I don't know why. I'm sensing that they're like nobody else you've ever met. It's like there's something different about them that I've picked up. I'm not sure what it is, but I, I just feel like there's this standout people in some way. It's like... They're either, they're either um, somebody you've never met before or somebody that you, you're not your usual type, but something about them stands out. And I, I just don't know. I kind of feel like they're not your usual type or something like that. Right, we have the card of imprisonment, right? <laughs> tell me a person's been in prison um okay with this card often this person is quite trapped it could be they have to stay where they are it's like if they are abroad it's like they can't move right now for some reason so it's like their hands are tied maybe they really can't move they you know physically are trapped where they are um number 29 might be significant but as you can see the hands are out the bars so they do want to get out and they've got a little friend there in the mouse as well. But it's like under lock and key. So they might be being watched by someone else. I kind of feel like maybe somebody doesn't want them to contact you in a way. Or they're being watched or they don't want, you know, somebody may have trapped them in. And what I mean by that with this card is that they, they might be being watched. Or they can't physically get to you or move as well. So that may be might be a problem as well for some of you. I feel like they will meet you again, but be a little wary of their intention at this present time. I'm just, um, the devil is kind of saying there's some sexual lusting going on. Six of Cups can be someone who's, um, you may have some unrealistic expectations, or you might be a little bit naive to what this person's up to. And I don't mean that rudely, but it's just what I'm feeling here. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, why has that come out? And the card of trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. 
Right. So mm, it's calling for trust, you know, whether you trust this person or not, you know, maybe you need to know a little bit more about your person as well. Maybe they have expressed their love here, but it's not the only thing they've expressed possibly. <laughs> got the card of I don't know how to let you go okay I said there's some obsessional energy going on here as well and we have a card of I'm waiting for an apology please remember with the message cards this might be your thoughts as well as your person's I'm waiting for an apology I have one more okay We've got the card of, well, that one's come out as well. So perhaps for some of you, you don't want them back or you don't want to see them. The card is, I am not coming back. So it might be that you really don't want to see or know this person right now. Did that go off? Yes, it did. Probably no power. Okay, so for some of you, you don't want to hear from them. This is what I'm sensing here. And then I'll get my message cards here to see if there's anything here for you. Oh, we got the card of you were right there as well. Okay, right then. This is the reading that I've seen for those of you who chose reading number one today. If that resonates with you, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. I've tried to put my moon back on there. Drop a comment in the box if you, um, I do read the com in the comment sections. So, yeah, thank you so much for listening today. It's been a pleasure to read for you all. Um, yeah, take care till next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Those of you who chose reading two, which was the blue deck here, the Raider Waite deck. Okay. Let's clear some energy there. Shuffle the cards, see if you will see this person again or meet them again. Or if you're just going to meet this person, maybe you haven't met them yet. In the flesh, I mean. <laughs> okay. The judgment card. We have the two of cups. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. Death card in reverse. We may need one more here. They all fitting in. And the King, the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. We have the Judgment card, Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, Reverse, Death card, Reverse, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, then when the Knight of Cups is in reverse, as you can see here, this kind of going backwards, back towards this Judgment. Um, I kind of feel like um, something in the connection may have gone wrong here. This is what I'm sensing as well. But we have this connection of everything just getting stuck as well. It's like... Somebody I'm feeling doesn't want to repair stuff. Now, I'm a little thrown by the Two of Cups energy, which is often a romantic love and proposals of marriage. And let me just get another card for that one because I'm a little bit confused what's going there. Okay, so that was so that that's what I kind of thought. So I'm feeling like somebody really wants the connection back or wants it to work, and somebody I'm feeling does not. Okay. I don't know which one's which. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what I was thrown by the two of cups out. I'm kind of feeling like there's two different pages going on here. Somebody I'm feeling wants someone back. Um, and someone I'm feeling someone else has made up their mind. And, you know, they've made up their decision with that judgment card. Okay, so I think that it's a kind of no. Okay, but I'm kind of feeling like that somebody really wants this person to come back in their energies. But I'm not sure who is who at this minute in time. 
So I think that one person will make the sacrifices here to get this started and the other person is kind of saying no. So I'm not sure if your person wants you back or you want them back, but they might be, you might be in no contact and hoping that someone's coming back or maybe your person's like that. I'm, I'm not sure which way around this is. It could be because I'm reading for a lot of people, it might be both scenarios, okay? So it kind of looks like somebody wants it to work, wants people coming back, they make sacrifices for the um, connection to work, okay? Uh, they want the person to kind of change their mind, but I think that there's a final decision here as well. Um, so for me, when the death card's there in, in reverse, it kind of feels like some someone may have sort of, hurt someone or um it can it can be a card when the hope has been destroyed a little bit or um it can be a card where everything's just stuck but we've got some moody energy going on here with the knight of cups and there's also the knight of cups in reverse it's often a card of when someone's got these expectations that are just quite unrealistic if that makes sense it's like you might be them or you because i'm sure it's both ways around for depending on who's listening today I feel like somebody wants to work on this connection would do anything for it. And then this other person's kind of saying no, or they're not listening, or they don't want to know. And this is what I'm getting. This is quite painful, I'm feeling, to hear for some people. But I do think somebody has said no, okay? And I do think it's a final decision. Because they don't, it's like they don't, but somebody doesn't want to repair it. They don't want to, with the eight of pentacles reverse, it's like, and they're not thinking of repairing anything or, you know, so I don't know which way around this is. Could be a little bit of both. Feeling. Okay, we do have the card of marriage, number three which would kind of match that one. So I don't know if this person, you've been married to this person or whether there was, the person's already married to someone else or there was probably talk of marriage once between you. It doesn't have to be, remember that whatever resonates for you. Perhaps the, the person thought that they were gonna marry you or the other way around. But I'm looking at the cards and these people don't look too happy in this card. We have the card of, right, we've got three cards that just come out then, okay. We've got the card of true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I kind of feel like that. I'm feeling someone is still in love with someone and wants to repair things, but it looks like something has happened where the other person has kind of said you don't want to at this time. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And then getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you your bond deepens. So it might be the fact that it's like, I feel like somebody wants to repair and somebody does not. It's like, I think that someone has said no, they don't want someone to come back or they don't want to come back. So let's get these message cards done as well. There may have been an, a specific incident is what I'm picking up that has happened between you as well. And that won't be for everyone, but I'm picking up on that intuitive energy of that. I wondered how far this would go. I wish, I do wish you well. Oh, we've got the card of, I know you're watching me. Oh, so someone is sort of, having a look at what the other one's doing but i think there is no ill will but i've got a feeling if you this person if you push may lose their temper quite a bit or get annoyed or it could be the other way around perhaps they're pushing you but i kind of feel this could be a vice versa reading where it might be you asking them or you might not want them 
or the person or you want the person back and they're really being stuck it's you know stubborn and saying no hmm okay lovely that's the reading that i've seen for those of you who chose reading number two today if it's resonating with you even though the readings are triggering today give it a thumbs up um drop a comment in the box uh subscribe if you're not already not a subscriber you can check out the other uh, love playlist there there are some love predictions the video I uploaded before this one love predictions for 2022 if that helps um you can check that out as well okay thank you so much for listening um bit of a mixed reading here I know it's probably a triggering one to some of you I do understand that and I knew this subject would be quite triggering when I saw when I sort of meditated on the title as well but that's what's come out today thank you so much take care till next time bye bye hello there welcome back to your reading those of you who chose reading three which was the tattoo tarot Okay, let's have a look if you will meet this person or see them again or if you've never met this person are you going to meet them again or is there plans to meet let's have a look what comes out i'm not sure what's coming out of the deck the reading may be triggering for you okay because i don't know what's coming out what spirit wants you to know right now if of course you find this reading isn't for you you could check out the other titles on the playlist everything is timeless apart from the 2022 reading which of course will be for next year that i released a couple of days back okay let's have a look i want to see you and you meet again what are you going to meet we have the king of coins the king of pentacles we have the ten of swords in reverse seven of wands in reverse we have the knight of cups in reverse as well and the seven of cups in reverse we've got a lot of reverse cards apart from that knight that king there okay and then we have the eight of swords which i'm going to put there okay Mm, I think you will meet, okay, but we do have a couple of problems here. Uh, I don't know if this is an ex of yours that wants to get you back or the other way around, whether you have your connection is finished and somebody wants it to restart, okay? I think you will meet eventually. There might be a passing of time before that happens, okay? Um, somebody might still be a little bit moody in the, in the connection here as well. I'm saying that because we've got a knight of wands in reverse and then we have a uh, moody knight of cups in reverse which tell me maybe i feel like i feel like you will eventually sort of meet and talk but it's like don't rush it it might be somebody needs some healing time the ten of swords reverse is often a time of um recoveries it can be a time when a certain situation has ended and then a new start happens we have the king of pentacles here coming out the king of coins which is telling me your person is probably deciding what to do okay they might be making their mind up i think they will eventually and i think they'll probably meet you but this might take a little time um, while they're making their mind appear they might be a bit stubborn they might leave you feeling a little bit um trapped with the eight of swords a little bit what i'm seeing now is christmas lights <laughs> with little um dangly things just dangling <laughs> you know the ones the snowflakes and the stars i feel like they're going to leave you dangling that's what i'm trying to say for a little while now I, i'm getting the feeling that they might be punishing you for something that won't be for everyone that's just a few of you but i feel like they might need time okay so they may have been a situation between you they may be rowed maybe they are exes maybe you want an ex back but it's like they're leaving you dangling for a little while it's like you're not knowing what's going to happen and i think they quite like that they like being in that position of power eventually i think they will talk to you they will meet you meet you with a seven of cups in the reverse but they're going to leave you dangling not knowing what's going on i think this is going to take a little time as well i think they're being a bit i nearly said they were a bit of a bugger <laughs> which is like a british expression for um 
being a bit naughty here, right? Playing with your emotions and, um, yeah. <laughs> They're going to leave you feeling not knowing. A little bit of trap there in the raid away. Of course, the Eight of Swords is the ladies there with the swords, with the blindfolds. That's why you're not going to know their next move. I'm kind of feeling you, that you don't know what to do. It's like you leaving you in a bit of limbo. But I think eventually you will hear from this person again. You'll meet them again. Um, hmm. I just feel like maybe they feel a bit sulky to me. And I don't know why it's like they might be just sulking and punishing in a way, in their own way. reconciliation has come up the romance angels card here someone from your past is returning to your life mm, i did say is that if the exes that you want to come back to you or is it you want an ex back or something like that let's have a look at these oracle cards for the tarot okay we've got the card of poverty so someone is feeling sorry for themselves here okay there may be lack actual lack of money for some reason maybe someone's lost their job the number 37 could be relevant but i kind of feel here that the person is feeling sorry for themselves or maybe you are okay so i need to say that it could be that um i kind of feel like they like they kind of like you in this position and I know that sounds mean, but it's like punishment. And I don't know why, why they're punishing you, really. Perhaps they think you've done something to them or they're convinced. That's not going to be for absolutely everyone. I feel like it's happened with someone, though. Hmm, what am I picking up? Yeah, so I'm kind of feeling that, you know, you might be feeling sorry for yourself or your person's actually moody as well and feeling sorry for themselves, too. It's like you've got this... um meant to pick another card of that out sorry about that you've got this feeling you know this with the card of poverty it's always like you're feeling sorry for yourself and it could be actual poverty it might be that someone's got lack of money here to come towards you but i more feel like a sort of moody sorrowful energy coming out okay we've got the card of healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so this could be family problems family drama okay there might be um an issue there as well perhaps the word forgiveness perhaps they need to forgive you but i kind of feel like they're punishing you and i don't know why what why i'm feeling that get some of these message cards for you as well sorry about that i just had to move um i thought it was my doorbell <laughs> all right let's get some message cards i've run to the doorbell i'm out there i thought is it my amazon parcel no, I think it was the TV downstairs. So let's get this message cards here. Two has come out. I've been struggling. Remember these message cards can be for you as well as your person I'm finding. In that moment, I didn't care. And we'll get two more. They sort of came out together then, didn't they? Oh, okay. I am happy that it's over. Wow. It's a bit strong. And I never want to feel that way again. Wow. Okay. Now, I'm happy that it's over. Of course, it can mean an ending, obviously. But also, it could be this, a situation. Hmm. Has there been family drama here? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, and these are little message cards that I made with my own sayings on them. Okay, 
we've got the card of your mind that resonates your mind okay that's come out too mm, interesting when I'm looking at the keep I keep looking at the king of pentacles and they're very the king of pentacles is often reliable and knows what they want you know even though I'm feeling like some drama has happened between you I kind of feel like they will talk to you eventually perhaps there's a lot that's been going on here it might be not that the relationship is over it might be some situation has been happening with your person and I'm trying to pick up what it is I feel like it's more complicated than probably even this reading it might be family issues there might be a reconciliation there um it might have been over but this is what I'm seeing I feel like talking needs to take place here at the minute I kind of feel like they're going to leave you dangling even though eventually they will talk to you again um yeah that's what I'm feeling so patience might be needed we've got a king of pentacles is solid and reliable energy here as well mm, there has been drama I know there's been drama I can feel like drama going on and people not talking to each other as well and I don't know if it's you too but whether it's um things that are happening I feel family members fighting as well I don't know why I'm feeling that but I do okay thank you so much for listening to me today this is the reading that I've seen for those you chose part reading number three if it didn't resonate you can of course choose one of the different piles today's readings are triggering I am aware of that so take what um, resonates with you and leave the rest because it might be a message for somebody else okay you can of course check out the big long love playlist I have there you can check out love predictions for 2022 which is what I really the video that I released just before this have a look at those as well and pick your pile Thank you so much for listening. Take care till next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.